Now, you need a C++ program to begin with. So, for example, I have ga.cpp. If we cat this out, as you can see, we have a simple program. So pretty much all it is doing, it's uh, trying to... Actually, I don't think it even matters what it's trying to do. Basically, it's just a program that is going to run for a couple of seconds. And because it runs for a couple of seconds, it's a pretty good candidate for profiling, especially since it uses a lot of functions. So if you're just taking a look at this visually, you would not know exactly which function takes the most of the time. So because of that, I'm going to use this to profile. So let's begin. To profile your program, you are going to need to compile it using the PG flag. So for me, I'm going to do G++ dash O zero. So I'm turning off all optimizations. I want no optimizations whatsoever being applied. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do EG. So this flag indicates that I'm going to be using GProf to profile this program. So as this program executes, it's going to generate uh, profiling data for gprof to use in the future and then ga.cpp hit enter and as you can see we have a.out and ga.cpp so we got our binary now let's execute this in order for gprof to work you need to execute your binary at least once you need to execute your program at least once for gprof to uh, to gather enough data to profile. Okay, so that's finished. And as you can see, we have a new file called gmon.out. Now, to actually take a look at the contents of gmon, what we're going to do is we're going to do gprof, and then I'm going to pass in a.out and gmon.out, hit enter. And we get back a bunch of human-readable code like this. It may not fit on the screen because C++'s uh, STL, uh, it, it's kind of cumbersome to read like this. Anyways, so... Basically, this is the this is our profiling data. So this is our profiling data. Uh, if you look at this visually, you'll see basically um, how long a program runs, or should I say how how long a function runs, how how many times it ran, uh, how long it actually took to execute. So this kind of stuff. I don't really like looking at this because it, it it's kind of annoying to read it like this. So. Uh, this index. So basically, this is the profiling information for main. Uh, this is the profiling information for sort. Uh, let's see here. This is the profile information for, I guess this is like a subroutine for sort. Anyways, so this doesn't really matter. What we're going to do is we're going to create a visual graph using this data. And to make a visual graph, what we're going to do is we're going to type gprof. Then we're going to type a.out, gmon.out, and then we're going to pass this into gprof to dot. Okay, so we're going to do gprof to dot, and after we pass it into this, we are just going to simply pass it on to dot. And I'm going to make the output for dot t png, so this is going to be a png file, and the output is going to be output.png. Click enter. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so after creating this graph, I'm taking a look at this and th the main problem I see here is the function names are way too long. So as you can see, like this is basically unreadable. It, it's really hard to read whatever this is saying. So what we can do to make this a little better is we can try wrapping. So to this gprof to dot program, we can try using dash w and that wraps function names. So they're not so long. Okay, I, I guess that's a little better. So if we zoom in. Okay, so if we zoom in, we see main, 90% uh, of the time our program is in main. 
and then this is this is sort so 55 percent of the time this program is running the sort program followed by uniform in distribution i i think another problem here is that this program not this program but this picture is low resolution so if we want to make this a higher resolution image what we could do is we could uh, change the dpi so to dot i'm going to pass in a higher dpi setting so i'm going to say dash g dpi is equal to 200 Okay, that looks a little better. So uh, keep in mind, the higher your DPI setting is, the longer it's gonna take for, the longer it's gonna take for this to render. So, and also the the higher your DPI setting, the bigger the image is gonna be. So for example, this file size, the file size here is 4.5 megabytes. So you don't wanna set it too high because it, it could it, it could just be too big for you to even open in your uh, image viewer. So another thing I may want to remove is I may want to strip uh, the function names. So instead of having a long verbose function name like this, what we can do is we can pass to gprof to dot. So what we can do is we can pass to gprof to dot dash s, and that's going to strip the function name. So it's going to be a little smaller. As you can see, that looks a lot better. So now this is a lot more readable. So I'm like taking a look at this and I see that this is just std sort. So you can just look at this and say, okay, so this is std sort. And then below that are just the subroutines for std sort. Uh, as you can see here, we have uniform in distribution. This is a random number generator. Uh, let's see. We have a vector, the square bracket operator for this uh, so the square bracket operator for a vector that takes 1% of the time to execute. Uh, we have a function called fitness and this takes 3% of the time to execute. So yeah, that's pretty much how you, this is how you create a visual graph for your uh, profiling data. So this is pretty much how you create a visual graph for your profiling data. This is really great. So if there are, if there's a program that you don't want to spend time reading, you just want to quickly look at uh, the profile information for what's happening in the program, you can just uh, uh, run this command. So you can just do gprof to dot, dash s, dash w, uh, then pass it to dot, and then do g, gdpi is equal to 200. Uh, again, be careful with this because uh, high dpi could, uh, it could cause you problems. So for example, if I pass in, let's say something like 700, Okay, so that took about 30 seconds to render, and let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so I think my GNOME image viewer is having difficulty even opening this picture. Yeah, as you can see, it's really laggy. Anyways, so this uh, this program is about... 6.7 megabytes it's 24,000 pixels by 8,000 pixels which is just insane Let's just close this for now so yeah make sure you keep your dpi setting not too crazy so maybe like 100 and that should be fine this is like it's pretty much like 4k so it's fine not really 4k but so this is this is pretty fine for most cases. You can just zoom into here. You can take a look at what's going on. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And just to show you the whole program again. So this is the whole program. So it's gprof, 
a.out, out, then gmon that out, then you pass this into gprof dot dash s. This basically strips the function names so they're compact. If you strip function names, I don't think you need to wrap function names anymore, so you can just remove this. If you want to keep the whole function, um, if you want to keep the function with all the parameters and everything being passed into it, you can do dash w and then remove dash s. So this will make it, um, this will actually make it a lot more readable since, um, so dash w will save on your horizontal screen space. But usually you just want to do dash s, which is a lot easier. It just strips the parameters from the function names. Uh, then if we pass into dot, and with dot, you may want to tweak with the DPI settings. So you may want a higher DPI, you may want a lower DPI. So really, it's really up to you. I wouldn't recommend going above maybe like 200 DPI because that's just insane. Uh, it, it starts to lag your image viewer if you make it too big. Uh, then uh, this said dash t png. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm saying I, I want a png image as an output, and uh, I'm naming my output output dot png. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you profile using gprof, and I will see you later.